Hi there, uh, today I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you how to view your results in uh, different forms of symmetry. Um, I thought to start with we'd just have a quick look at cyclic symmetry because that's quite an easy one. Um, once you've uh, set up your cyclic symmetry region uh, and you've run your, your uh, results, at the moment I've just got a fixed port on the inside and a force on the outside just to show. Um, if you could jump down into the solution branch uh, and then down here cyclic solution display uh, if you set that to the number of sectors that you've got in your model obviously this is a quarter of a circle so we're going to set it to four sectors uh, and then evaluate your results again and it should show you the complete model so there you go there is a circle with uh, cyclic symmetry unfortunately uh, linear symmetry um, isn't quite as easy to solve um, we've got to do uh, a couple more things to get it to show up. So here's my model in uh, mechanical, and I've got a line of symmetry across this, uh, these two faces here. First thing we need to do is turn on beta features. Uh, unfortunately, the symmetry uh, tool is a beta feature. So um, if you jump to workbench and you go to tools, options, if you look under the appearance tab and scroll down, there is a tick box for beta options. So you enable that, click OK, uh, and then I think you need to restart Mechanical to get it to take effect. But once you've got that running, if you jump into Mechanical, uh, and then you click on the symmetry block on the tree, uh, obviously if you haven't got a symmetry block already, you can just right click here, insert, uh, and then symmetry will show up in here. Uh, but we've already got our symmetry lined up, uh, and you can see now that we've got beta options, uh, graphical expansion. Now, these aren't the most, um, they're not the most useful controls, um, but with a little bit of work, we can we can get our model looking exactly how we want. So um, just to go through the list of the, the options, you've got number of repeats. Uh, one repeat just means it's showing like it is. So um, to get it to show a single line of symmetry, you need to set it to two repeats. Cartesian, obviously uh, this is a linear symmetry, so we need a Cartesian style um, symmetry line. Uh, you can also set this to polar if you've got things that rotate, but obviously uh, your cyclic symmetry is um, most of the use of the polar one. Uh, this method, uh, with full method, you get um, the this kind of linear periodic, so each part isn't uh, reflected, it's just, uh, it's just copied. Uh, but if we set this to half, um, then it allows us to do a like mirrored line of symmetry. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set our offset uh, so let's just show you what full looks like. So if I just do an offset here of uh, a small number uh, and jump to our mesh tab, you can see that it started offsetting this. But as you can see, it's the same shape. It's just offset slightly positive X. So if we jump back into it uh, and we set it to a small negative value, uh, any small negative value, uh, and we change this to half symmetry, uh, we jump back and now you can see that it has mirrored it along that line of symmetry. Now I put in a arbitrary small value here. If you set this to zero uh, you won't get any result, it just won't show up because zero kind of turns it off so you have to put an offset in there. Uh, it doesn't really matter the value of the offset um, as long as it's small so you can't really see it. Um, and you can see that if we uh, solve this quickly um, the results will also be mirrored so you get a good uh, good view of what's happening in your model and there we go with a uh, results in and you can see that it uh, mirrored the results across both sides now the last thing to look at is uh, as I said um, you've got this graphical expansion but you've also got two others uh, and this allows you to do um, so if you've got a quarter symmetry or anything like that you can set that up here as well so um, just to show you let's mirror it along the bottom of this A as well as across the center of it um, so we're going to use this one uh, we're in the Z axis so let's offset it by 0 0.01 uh, set this to half set this to 2 and now you can see that if I show the mesh, uh, it's mirroring it around the um, global axes. The, the global coordinate system is is in here. Um, 
you can see the global coordinate systems there so it's, it's offsetting it from there so to get it so that it mirrors around this face we have to put a new coordinate system in which i've done already so i've got this coordinate system here which is just across this bottom face so if i uh, select that uh, and again set this value to like very small uh, and then view the mesh you can see that i've got all four regions and my deformation shows up with it as well so that's it that's how you uh, view um, symmetry in a model that's got like uh, called symmetry mm -hmm.